Python numbers. We are having different type of numbers we can represent in Python. We shall be discussing on that. Number data types. So, Python supports three number data types. The first one is the integer. There is the integer numbers like your 100, 2030, something like this as an example. Floating by numbers, these are the examples are given and complex numbers are to be written in this particular format. So, like your 3 plus 4 j, 5 plus 10 j in this way. We can use a type function to know which class a variable or a value belongs to an instance function to check if it is belong to a certain particular class or not. So, we are having two functions one is the type which will tell the type of the function and another one is the instance which will tell whether this particular uh, variable is of that type or not. While integers can be of any length, a floating bar number is accurate only up to 15 decimal places that is the 16 de decimal place will be incorrect in that case. So, that is the precision we are having for the floating bar number, but in case of integers while integers it can be of any length. Numbers we deal with every day are decimal that is the base 10 number system Python can also express binary, octal and hexadecimal numbers also. As computer programmers generally embedded programmers need to work with the binary, the binary number system is having the base 2 or the hexadecimal that is the base 16 and octal that is the base 8 number systems. In Python we can represent these numbers by appropriately placing a prefix before that number. Now, what are the prefix? So, here you see we can write here as 0 small b or 0 capital B as a binary number prefix we are having this 0 small o or 0 capital O as octal number prefix we are having 0 small x or 0 capital X as hexadecimal number prefix. So, these are the prefix we are having to represent the respective number. Number type conversion from one type to another type we can do the conversions accordingly. We can also use the built in functions like your int which will convert to the respective integer float and the complex functions. To convert between types explicitly these functions can even convert from string. So, it can take a string as input and convert it to integer in this case convert to float in this case and convert to complex, complex number in the using this particular complex function. So, I think let us go for one demonstration where we will be discussing how these numbers can be operated, can be handled, can be doing the type casting in our python coding. Numbers in python can have mainly three different data types. First one is the integer. So, here you see the value 1 is equal to 100. So, this 100 is of type integer and then we are having the next one as float. In case of float value 2 is equal to 100.24. So, it is of the type float class and this particular float will always have some decimal point here and fractional part will be there. And then we are having the another type that is known as a com complex and this complex type um, numbers will be expressed in the form of the 15 plus 6 j. So, it is one of the examples we have given. So, we are having three different uh, types are there. One is the int, next one is the float and the last one is the complex class in our python. And integer and floating point numbers are separated by the presence of or absence of the decimal point. So, in case of 5, if you write only 5, it is an integer but if you write the 5.0, it will be of the type float. Okay. So, now here you see we are having this value 1 initialized with the value 100 and then we are going for the print type of value 1 and also we are checking is instance value 1 int value 1 float and value 1 complex. If I execute this particular part we are getting this type as class type of int and this is instance will always return a boolean it will check whether this value 1 is of the type int or not. And that is true here, but in case of float and complex, it is returning false. Similarly, we are doing the same type of testing here in case of value 2. If I go on executing, we are getting the required output. So, value 2, comma, int, if we pass these two parameters to is instance, I am getting the output false. But here in this case, as this value 2 is of type float, so is instance value 2, comma, float will return true and value 2, comma, complex will return false here. So, now let us go for this complex. 
so here we are having value 3 is equal to 50 plus 6 j so if we go on executing we are getting the output like this so in case of int in case of float with the is instance method we are getting this false but with the complex is instance value 3 comma complex it is returning true here so in this way we have tested that how the number instance can be tested or the number type can be tested using the method is instance this python in case of python also we can have uh, other different uh, uh, corresponding representations of data there is a binary which will have the base 2 hexadecimal which will be having the base 16 and octal which will be having the base 8 here so numbers we deal with our everyday are having the base 10 that is our decimal numbers but other than this decimal you can work with the base 2 that is the binary number system we are having this hexadecimal with the base 16 and octal with the base 8 here so to represent one binary number we can easily write 0b as a prefix to this number you can write this b in the capital letter also so if you go on printing this 0b 1101 that means this 1101 is not in decimal but in binary 0x will stand for the hexadecimal and 0o will be standing for this octal here so now let me uh, let me go for the execution you can find that if i execute this part i'm getting 13 because 8 plus 4 that is 12 plus 1 that is 13 here because this particular place is having the place value to the power of 0 that is 1 this particular place is having the place value to the power of 1 that is 2 to the power of 2 that is 4 and to the power of 3 that is 8 so 8 plus 4 plus 1 13 we are getting here so in case of this 0 x a b so a is having the value in hexadecimal as 10 so 16 uh, to the power of 1 into 10 we are getting here 160 and b is having the value 11 so 11 into 16 to the power of 0 so you are landing with 11 only so 160 plus 11 we are getting the value 171 in the last case you can find that it is 2 into 8 to the power of 1 because it is represented in the terms of octal so 2 into 8 to the power of 1 plus 3 into 8 to the power of 0 so you are getting this value 16 plus 3 and that is 19 here so in place of writing this uh, small b you can also go for the capital b this is i'm replacing this one as capital x and replacing this one as capital o then also we are going to get the same output here now here you see here we are having this particular value 10 uh, in terms of integer and 13.4 is nothing but a float data so what will happen if you go on printing this one so you see the result is being converted to the respective float here so operations like addition and subtraction which will which will uh, deal which is dealing with this integer and the float and then automatically it will be converted to the float implicitly so here you see we are having this integer operand here we are having this float operand if any one of the operand is float then the result will be implicitly converted to the float type so now we are going to have this type conversion so 10.5 is of the type float and if we want to convert it to integer we can get the output like this so 10 is getting output is producing the output so now here we are having this minus 20.99 so it is a float uh, type so if we do the type casting to integer we're getting this one as minus 20 so you can find this one that when we are uh, doing the conversion to integer it is not changing the sign of the number so here we are having this float 10 so this 10 is of the type integer because there is no fractional part there is no decimal point but as i did the type conversion here so the output has become 10.0 now consider this example data 1 is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 and we are just printing the value of data 1 so if i execute this code we are finding that we are expecting we were expecting the value should be printed as 0 0.3 because 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 should be 0 0.3 but we are finding that we are having so many different zeros after that and then 1 4 is coming so this is uh, an error is getting caused due to the hardware of our system not due to the python so if we want to check whether 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus uh, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.3 or not then in that case we'll be finding that the condition is giving the output as false to overcome this issue we can use the decimal module that comes with python 
and while floating point numbers have the precision up to 15 decimal places and the decimal module has user setable precision accordingly. So here you see we are having this data 1 is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 print data 1. So we are getting this output as 0 0.3 and multiple number of zeros and 4. And then here also we are just doing one calculation that is 0 0.1.20 into 2.50 and we are printing the value of data 1 we are getting this 3.0 as well. So now from decimal import decimal as a D. So if you now do the calculation in this way you can see we have written this particular code and we are going to print the respective result we are getting the value as 0 0.3 which which was expected and for this outcome we are getting this output as 3.00 so in this way the problem which we are facing in case of python uh, can be overcome using the from decimal import decimal here this decimal d will be in the upper case so here we are use one alias that is as d here now we shall discuss fractions python provides uh, operations involving fractional numbers through its fractions module and this fraction module will help us to convert one floating point number to a numerator denominator form where both the numerator and the denominator will be of the type integer actually fraction has a numerator and a denominator and both of which are integers and this module has supposed for rational number arithmetic so let us go for this example here so you see that from fractions import fraction as f and this is a respective module we are executing here so you can find that 1.5 can be expressed in terms of 3 by 2 and this 3 is nothing but one integer numerator and 2 is nothing but another in integer which is being which has been placed as the denominator so print f5 which will give you the 5 and print f 1 comma 5 will give you the value that is 1 by 5 so while creating fraction from float uh, we might get some unusual results and this is due to the imperfect binary floating point number representation and fortunately fraction allows us to instantiate with a string as well and this is preferred option when using the decimal numbers now we shall discuss the math model python offers module like math and the random to carry out different mathematics like your trigonometry logarithms probability statistics and etc so just consider this set of code so python math module so we have imported the math and then we have we used multiple different functions available in the math here so pi cos log log of 10 exp factorial and signage so here is the respective outputs we are getting here so if we want to uh, print if we want to print the absolute of say minus 12.34 if you want to print this one then in that case we need not to use the math module here so we can use directly as abs minus 12.34 you can find that we have considered only the magnitude part and the sign part has been ignored now let us come to this that is a random here so here you see we are going for the random dot random uh, rand range that is 5 comma 15 so the initial value is the start value which is optional if you don't provide any initial value the value will become the considered as zero and the last one the next one value that is the second argument we are passing is mandatory that is the terminating value or the stop value and that is exclusive that means here the random numbers will be generated inclusive 5 to 15 exclusive so in this way you can go on printing and we can generate multiple random numbers are there so the first value is optional that is the there is a start value the second value is mandatory that is a stop value then you can also put another argument comma after putting comma there that is a there is a step value so here we have printed a rand range in between 5 to 15 four times so now we are having this 11 8 14 and 13 if I execute the code once again we are getting the different set of values if we execute the code one second we are getting different set of values so now we are having one list here then random dot choice day so day is nothing but the list here you see it has picked up the random choice is uh, two if you go for execution one second we are getting this value as two here one second so if you go for again you can find that we are getting here mon here so now this is a print day now we are going for random dot shuffle day and then if we print day 
we can find that this is the respective different arrangement of this list elements and list elements have got shuffled and then we are having this print random element so if you want to print the random element then the method is random so we can print the respective random element here so in this way in this particular program we have discussed multiple different aspects uh, of number type in our python so let us go for a quick revision so type is actually returning the type of the uh, variable is instance is actually checking whether this particular variable is having this type or not so that's why this is instance is actually returning true or false so we have tested that one on integer we have tested that one on float we have tested that one on complex numbers so here we have we are expressing numbers in terms of binary so the prefix will be 0 b b can be small letter or capital letter for the hexadecimal the prefix should be 0 x x can be lowercase or in the uppercase and for the octal we are having this value which, which will be having the prefix 0 o o can be in the lowercase or uppercase so here you can find that whenever we are doing some calculations involving integers and float the result will get implicitly converted to the float we are having to for this type conversion from this float to the integer from this float to the integer from this integer to the float respective outputs are there we have discussed this decimal here how we can deal with the we can have the control over the precisions and then we are having this uh, python fractions you can see that how the fractions are working and then the math module and also the random module here i think now you are getting this idea that how these numbers are getting handled in our python programming Thanks for watching this video.